It's been more than a year since the Russia-Ukraine war began. And since then, it's an art of deception, an age-old trickery that has been employed in the battle. The Ukrainian military is outfoxing the Russians on the battlefield in a modern adaptation of deception tactics. Moscow is also using similar tactics against the Ukrainians. Check the special report on the art of deception. Sun Tzu, the Chinese military strategist and philosopher, had said that all warfare is based on deception. Down the ages, there are many instances of deception being used in armed conflicts, from the Trojan War between the early Greeks to the successful D-Day landings in Normandy, to the Hail Mary ploy employed by the coalition forces in Iraq to stun Saddam Hussein. Armies around the world have been using false maneuvers and creating impressions of their weakness to lure the enemy. The same age-old ploy is being increasingly used in the Russia-Ukraine war. Yes, this is the 21st century and technology plays an upper hand in warfare with satellites and drones constantly identifying and monitoring changes in the enemy's resources. Equipped with high-resolution cameras and thermal imaging, nothing remains hidden. Yet. Improvisation is the name of the game. Since the beginning of this war, Ukrainians have been using decoys to mislead the adversary. And in essence, the Russians got a taste of their own medicine as Ukrainians unleashed the Russian practice of military deception or maskirovka, the hallmark of Russian warfare and a word which translates as something masked. Ukrainians have been planting fake tanks armored vehicles and missile launchers to make Russians believe that they are actual weapon platforms. The decoys can vary from aircraft to howitzers. The Ukrainians even have decoys of American high Mars rocket systems. One of the leading suppliers of these decoys is a Czech company which has reported a 30% jump in its business, all thanks to the Ukrainians. It's a sudden boom because before this, it was only a very small market where people didn't even know about uh, that we exist, we, that we are doing such a decoy or whatsoever. Uh, but now with the awareness and how we have been uh, spending a little bit more of our budgets with uh, marketing and sales, and that's where I come in, there is more inquiries, there is more people who want to know. There's a lot of them don't even know that there is such a thing available. The Russians too have been using the same art of outfoxing the enemy to deceive the Ukrainian defences. Russia switched its aerial strike tactics to fool Ukraine's air defences. They have been using decoy missiles without explosive warheads and deploying balloons. The goal of the decoy missiles is to overwhelm Ukraine's air defense systems by offering too many targets. In between artillery bombardments and infantry assaults, there is many a strategic retreat where the attacking force is lured into believing that they have the upper hand only to find the situation blowing up in their face. Apart from the strategic moves on the battlefield, there is also social media which is being used by both Russia and Ukraine to disseminate misinformation. And the fog of war hides them all, making independent verification very difficult. Bureau Report, we on World is One.